Okay, so let's finish number two then on from this sheet. So at the end of the last video, we had found our R total, so we had found our I total. We said this was a series circuit, so I total, when it was most simplified, so I total would be equal to I1 and would be equal to I234. So we filled I1 in as 3 amps and got 6 volts, and we filled I234 in as 3 amps and got 12 volts. So now we step back, I R2345 replaced R23 and R45, which means, um, so R23 and R45 are in parallel with each other, and in parallel voltage is the same. So V23 should be equal to V45 should be equal to V2345. So this should be 12 volts and this should be 12 volts. 12 divided by 12, this will be 1 amp. 12 divided by 6, this will be 2 amps. So now we have finished this circuit. We now step back again. R4 and R5, R4, R5 were replaced, replaced R4 and R5. R4 and R5 are in parallel, and in parallel voltage is the same. So V4 should be equal to V5, should be equal to the V of the resistor that replaced them, V4, 5. So this should be 12 volts. This should be 12 volts. 12 divided by 9, that's 4 over 3, 1 and a third amps. 12 divided by 18, that's 2 third amps. Add them up, they give us back 2. All right. And then the last one, R2 and R3 were replaced by R23. R2 and R3 are in series, and in series the current's the same. So I2 should be equal to I3 should be equal to I23. I23 was 1 amp, so I3 should be 1 amp, I2 should be 1 amp. 1 times 8 will be 8 volts, 1 times 4 will be 4 volts. Do your little check again. Total voltage was 18. None of these are bigger than 18. Total current was 3 amps. None of these are bigger than 3 amps. So that's a pretty good sign that you're okay. All right, hopefully these are getting better. There'll be more practice this evening.